But to the bear here, we're back at City Walk. It's time to return to the land of margaritas. It's been a while since we've been to Margaritaville. Last For time reasons. we came here, we walked out because they didn't serve us. Yes. So time to go back, celebrate Jimmy Buffett, and drink Kobe Tomato Margaritas. Be sure to imbibe. You heard the girl. This is the perfect margarita, according to Jimmy Buffett, I guess. So let's see if he's right. I don't know if it's perfect, but it's it's okay. I would give it like a two and a half out of five margaritas. I, it's not gonna, wow, I'm not gonna come here specifically for this margarita. I could get a better one at Backwater Bar. I feel like you're gonna call yourself Margarita Bell. Mind you, Margarita Margarita Bell. You gotta step up to the plate when it comes to margaritas. Like, you're gonna call yourself Margarita Bell. You had better literally be the home of margaritas. Which is hard. It's always been a weird spot for Margarita Bell in sort of City Walk on Universal period because there are a lot of places that can be margaritas. I can't say that Margarita Bell is usually the first place I run to, but I'm happy to see them try to retain their friends. I'd expect perfect to be at least three times bigger. It's not a bad margarita. The mix is good. Tequila is okay. King margarita though, three and a half out of five. So the wild one, it's a berry margarita, same tequila that I got, but frozen because bear lives for frozen margaritas. I, on the other hand, do not. Very syrupy. Bear got a drink like this, um, similar to this at, where was it? Um, Mardi Gras at Port Orleans. French Quarter and it it was just like this where it was like frozen with like the syrup and it didn't taste as artificial it was a little like better a little more flavorful a little, a little more tart and I think that that margarita was better even though that's that's a daiquiri bar that's not even a, a margarita bar so that's where this ranks two and a half out of five margaritas I love how these are labeled like they're fresh fruit margaritas, but like every time I see them make a margarita, it's like there's always some heavy use of syrup involved. Not all inspiring. Uh, but I, I get a little palm tree. Yeah, I like palm trees. Wow. Like a blended frozen sweet tart. You told me this is a virgin drink, I believe you. Two and a half out of five plus. At least it's cold. Here we have the latest, newest, and greatest Beyond Burger. It's got a Kaiser roll on it that's hard as a rock, definitely over toasted. There's pickles in the sandwich and then a pickle on my plate, plus french fries. So let's see how this Beyond tastes. Well, it just tastes like your standard Beyond Burger. There's really nothing special outside of this or like the one from Captain America Diner. It's essentially the same. I'm gonna put mustard on it after we finish reviewing it because I think it needs some more sauce. I'm gonna give it a two and a half out of five burgers. It's not my jam. It's got a little bit of a frozen fr freezer burn taste to it too. Burgers are thickened. At least thick with the fixings. The tomato and the Dubious amount of pickles, you have the vegan sauce in here, and a pretty thick Beyond patty. It looks like it was sniffly grilled. I see some grill marks there on said patty. The uh, plastic vegan cheese. It's got the basics. Let's see how they add up. It's pretty standard as far as like burgers go. I don't know how I feel about the Kaiser bun, it feels a bit dry. Kaiser buns are usually more on the dry side, not like usually hella moist from my experience, but this burger, I don't know if it fits. 
I can use more of the sauce. The sauce is on the burger is good. I just don't use enough of it. Um, it's grilled right. It's cooked right. Cooking beyond right seems to be a problem for a lot of restaurants in Universal. This one's actually cooked well. Uh, this isn't going to create any lasting plant-based memories for you, but it's better than we've had in the past here. For that, I give it 2.75 out of 5 points. And this place is an entire menu event. Fry it passes the fry test. You can get French fries, sweet potato fries, or a salad, whatever. This one is the most calories. Yay. They're like lukewarm. Semi salted. Gonna need copious amounts of mustard. It's not that great. I'm gonna give them a one and a half out of five fries. This is kind of sad. Hmm. Looks like your standard fry. It's not shoestring. But it's not steak cut. Wow. This is about as bland and tasteless as some of the night show host returns after the writer's strike. It needs seasoning in a new world view. 1.5 out of 5 balls. So I'm going to go with a lighter fare. Uh, I could have got fries to the side with my meal, but I decided I wanted a salad. Got a raspberry vinaigrette, I wanted something light. I don't like heavy food in park days. I will for you guys, but I'm like a light and then walk sort of person. So they gave me a, a healthy dosing of these raspberry vinaigrette, which looks like it's in a shot glass. Do not drink this as a shot. This is dressing, not adult beverages. A nice little pour, just a little bit. I don't like overdressed salad. That was probably too much. In there, so we got basic iceberg lettuce, some overly large tomatoes, some carrots, cucumber. It's your normal house salad. Fried bread, we didn't get might as well be jam. With how thick and sweet it is. It's a decent salad. On the right home about, but it will do as a side. Two and a half out of five plus. Average at best. For my main, I got the Beach Club, which is four stack sandwiches on a gigantic toothpick skewer, thick with ham, grilled. I don't know how I get this point. No, it's two gigantic sandwiches, not four. Just double the one bread. One sandwich cut in half. Or yeah. no, that's right. It's two sandwiches. There you go. On two toothpicks. Eh. Eh. Like it's not going to end well. There we go. So that's a nice thicken. You got the Swiss cheese, the ham, the turkey. Got a little bit of mayo in there. Healthy doses of cheese and lettuce. This is gonna be a lot of fitness in my mouth. The bread is slightly toasted, but it is a cold sandwich, so be aware of that. Turkey feels fresh shaved. I can do with a, either less mayo or less runny mayo. But it is the same filling. It tastes all right. It's food. It's not gonna be memorable food, but it is food. I would give it like 2.75 out of 5 plus. It feels like a margarita's DLC skin on like a TGI Fridays. Margaritaville. It's a ville. It's got margaritas. Meh. Otherwise, I walked in hungry and I walked out with half a sandwich and all my french fries and one bite of my pickle. It's, it's food. It wasn't good. The problem is there's other places around here that give food that's equal quality or better, which totally. I would say is like most of the restaurants here, which puts it in a very odd spot. Uh, it's closest to Iowa, but honestly, you have Tucson, you have Hard Rock, you have Antojitos. It's kind of hard to justify coming to this place over any other place. I would rather go to that What's the bread box? I would rather go to the bread box and get sandwiches than eat this. Fair point. And they have vegan brownies up there. Yeah, they do. But we want to know what you guys think about Margaritaville. Is the margarita past its prime? Is it time for it to go? Does the entire place need a revamp? I mean, it's been open here for 24 years now. We have community members that are even 24 years old now. I know. <laughs> Crazy. But I don't know what you guys think. Let us know in the comments below. What would you like to see happen? 
not just this restaurant, but a whole lot of City Walk. I feel like the whole thing is in need of a new identity. I agree. Let us know in the comments below. If there's anything else you can just do at City Walk or Universal Orlando, Florida, period, the comments are always in place to find us. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear's going to eat himself into this water fountain over here that's struggling to spout water. Actually, I was just thinking I was going to steal that plane and just disappear. But you heard the girl.